Alright guys, just want to give you guys a quick update regarding the QWK uh, Challenger Mark III. Uh, this information is applicable to both the Pro Max and also the standard versions, the MMX QWK MM. So uh, the update is all about the dart corrector. So the first batch of the, well, I mean the existing version of the dart corrector from Pyro Cannon is that is this active plate, this plate here that's moving, it's called the active dart corrector where it constantly uh, corrects the dart positions and it will center it into the chamber. So when the, the bridge pushes the darts into the barrel, it will be straight. It won't be like, you know, uh, slightly upwards. Uh, if you are using the original dart gate or the dart stopper, whatever you call it. So this reduces the jam a lot. But one of the issue with this is that the two springs that come with the original dart corrector is somewhat stiff. It's a bit, it's a bit too stiff. Um, that sometimes can result in a, uh, it will cause the bolt, um, how do I say this actually? Uh, it applies too much of a down pressure, this plate. So when the, the bolt travels, you know, there's O-ring and stuff there. So when it pushes the, the plate, it's supposed to push the plate upwards just a bit. So if the spring is too stiff, it actually causes the bolt to unable to return to the battery the full full uh you know travel fully instead of just leaving it like this so this improvement uh, i've already have the magnets installed actually there's one two on the that gate itself and also two on the active plate itself so it will you know you know the magnets you if, if you reverse it it will always push each other away so yeah this is the mechanism it's really simple and how well it works though, um, I'm not really sure because I haven't done enough tests on it. But prelim tests, I've run through about 5 full magazines. So far, no jam. Seems to work better than I actually expected it to. And this information, this information is actually provided by Pyro Cannon. He told me the original idea when he designed this is actually to go with the magnets. But because the magnets will increase the cost by a lot, so he just used a spring, you know, for the first few batches. So after I got this information, I went ahead and buy the magnets and try it myself. And if it works, it will the magnet set, uh, four pieces of them, will be will be available in Monkey Mods for purchase. I'm not sure the price yet, but we try to make it as cheap as possible. Uh, the main thing is that I want to make sure this thing works. So to give you guys a quick demonstration, I'm going to full auto through these two magazines. One is mix um, worker gen 2 high end gen 3 mix all one darts and the other is a worker gen 2 high ends the red color foams they are slightly fatter than expected so i'm not really sure if this actually works well <laughs> with the mark 3 but anyhow the latest mark 3 the uh, pro max versions uh it already have a sensor a mechanical switch here located here i can't release really can't really show you because it's inside that will detect the positions of the bolt so unless the bolt is at the closed positions the blaster won't fire so this is to detect jam if there is a jam happens that causes you know uh, a, a dart folded you like a u-turn in the barrel and the feeding fail say if it if the bolt stuck in these positions when the battery is on um, so let's just say uh, I put it in semi. If I put it like this and I, and I pull the trigger, now without the magazine, it's supposed to fire because the, ma the magazine is not empty and stuff. So it will detect it as a, you know, a loaded condition. So if I push the bolt slightly backward and pull the trigger, it won't fire. Right? So... Um, it's going to dry fire once just to show you that this plaster actually works right ouch that's loud but yeah so with the bolt if the bolt is not travel completely it will not fire right so this is uh, like a safety features to protect the gearbox so when the blaster jams it won't work until you clear the jams right so yeah that is uh, just a little information on the 
latest version of the Mark III Pro, Mark Challenger Mark III Pro Max. Right, so let me just full auto Mac down this. Alright, so let's see how it looks like. So if you pull the bolt, there you go. So the magnets worked, not as stiff as the spring, but apparently it's good enough for the, for the intended purpose. Right, so that chambers and it does load much smoother compared with the original two stock, uh, stock spring on the that, that character. So let's just go ahead and full auto it. You know, I have confidence that this actually will work. All right, let's see. Let me adjust the camera angle a little bit so you can see the bolt. All right, so let's see. Never mind. Never mind. Just go semi first, just to show if the bolt is actually closing. Yep. All right, it's closed perfectly. All right, let's just go full auto. Damn, it works so well. All right, the magazine is now empty. And the bolt is locked. All right, so that works perfectly. Let's try this. Fresh dart. All right, so as you can see, my concern was exactly this. You see, see the dart character is barely pushing the darts at all. Now I'm not sure if this will actually causes any problem to the blaster, because it's supposed to push it down like this, <laughs> you know, to correct the darts angle, put it pretty straighter. But the magnet is not as strong as the spring, so I'm not sure if this actually works well. But uh, let's find out. Let's chamber darts in. And yep, the boats are able to travel all the way front. Let's give a semi a couple of shots to see. All right, closes completely. Closes completely. Closes completely. Looks like it will work. All right, let's just go full auto and fire all these darts out. Yep, works really, really well. There's no issue whatsoever. And it seems like these magnets Modifications, not really modification, but yeah, alternative, let's just call it. Seems to work really well with the system. And I will do more tests, fire a couple of more rounds of the darts with different type of darts and see, and, and see whether this actually still works perfectly or it causes any type of uh, funny jams or whatever. But yeah, happy to relay this information to you guys. And stay tuned. I'll see you guys next video.